Hey guys, it's Tatiana. The Bachelor went to Korea this week and... Sorry, I just threw up my mouth. Really? But I swallowed it back down. Perfect, sounds good. Is it just us or did Juan Pablo seem totally out of it during his time in Korea this week? Maybe that's why ABC decided to send him on two dance heavy dates. It's like, when all else fails, just make Juan work. He knew what he was doing, had it going on. Anyway, this entire episode played out like scenes from He's Just Not That Into You. Because while one minute he's making out with Charlene, the other minute he was telling Renee that he's trying to be less of a man whore. So how would Camilla feel if she saw me kiss you? I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna try not to kiss anybody tonight. Oh really? Because that's not what you said when you were attacking Claire's face just a few minutes later. I wasn't gonna kiss her, but I couldn't help it. You know, it just feels right. It feels very right right now. By the way, that kiss came right after Clara said this to him. I threw up in my mouth. Really? But I swallowed it back down. <laughs> Ugh, he's definitely into her. Gross. Then you had Nikki, who will officially be known as Negative Nikki for the remainder of the season. I swear, counting how many times she bitches or whines during an episode is our new Bachelor drinking game. This blows. I don't want to go on a group date right now. I am not a good dancer by any means. My outside face looks like this. And then my inside face looks like this. This is my worst nightmare. I hope that we're performing for the South Korean School of the Blind. Go team. But guess what? She got the group Rose. What? He's into her? If you want to talk about someone who's playing the innocent role perfectly, it's her. But I give her a couple more weeks before he sees her true colors. And then there's Lauren S. Poor Lauren S. Honestly, I didn't even realize she was still on the show, which is why I was shocked to see her get so emotional over not getting a kiss from Juan Pablo. No, please. <laughs> he's kissed other girls in the house, so it makes me feel like he's not interested. I, I don't really know what he's feeling right now, you know? Honey. No guy wants to marry a girl with the same hairstyle as his four-year-old daughter. Now let's say it together, shall we? He's just not that into you. Of course, she won't have to worry about whether or not she'll get the tongue down from Juan Pablo because she got that boot in the end. And so did Elise, who we actually kind of liked. Her big mistake being that girl who starts to throw other girls under the bus. There has to be girls that you know aren't going to be like a good mother, so it's like, why are they even here? Rose of the Week goes to Charlene for being completely honest about maybe not wanting to have kids and still getting a rose after that. Run, runner alert. The drama continues next week and we'll be back to break it all down. Subscribe with us by clicking right here before you leave and click here for last week's recap and click right here for best moments from the Grammys. As always, stay tuned to ENTV for all of your entertainment news.